Hey guys, CDTV the G here, and the G, of course, stands for God has announced that his new album, The New Age Illmatic, The Harvard Dropout, will be releasing on February 22nd. Yes. I have been waiting so long for this, and that's, I'm not even joking, I am legitimately looking forward to The Harvard Dropout. Had a hair stuck in my mouth there. Lil Pump is almost always entertaining. Some of his songs, it can get a little bit boring if it sounds like he puts, like, barely any effort into them, but I think a lot of his recent singles have been enjoyable. You know, and I say it every time I record a reaction to a Lil Pump single, he's always improving, and I hope that's the case with this song, Racks on Racks. This is, of course, one of the singles from Harvard Dropout. I'm not sure how many songs that he's released recently are gonna be on the Harvard Dropout. Drug Addicts will probably be on there, but I don't really know. Uh, Butterfly Doors will most likely be on there. So let's not waste any time. I don't think this reaction is going to be anything too deep. It's just going to be listening to the song, offering some general thoughts on it. You know, it's a little over two minutes and it's Lil Pump. So I just hope it's a really enjoyable song. Great beat, good flows. That's all I want. Lil Pump, Rex on Rex. Let's go. <laughs> I feel like, I feel like I really recognize that sample. That sample sounds really familiar. That's really weird, I can't find any information on if that's a sample or what that sound is, but something about this beat just sounds so familiar to me. I don't know if that is a sample or if I'm just thinking it sounds like something else. Oh well, never mind, let's just, let's just keep going. Standard Lil Pump repetition on the chorus, as to be expected. It's not one of his best hooks, it's, it's okay. I can kind of see that hook growing on me though with that kind of flow, you know, that that, 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 that that might grow on me a little bit. It's, it's kind of catchy, there's something a little memorable to it, but I don't think it's one of Lil Pump's finest hooks. I mean, hooks has never really been Lil Pump's strong point necessarily, he just kind of raps on them. There's not really a lot to differentiate between Lil Pump hooks. I guess that's to be expected, but I don't know if this one's necessarily going to stick with me as much as his other hooks have, like Drug Addicts or Gucci Gang. Nothing too crazy, basically what is to be expected from a Lil Pump song. <laughs> That's not very hygienic, Lil Pump, but the flow is nice, okay. okay. Okay, it started to. I'm starting to see the catchiness of it now. Mm. I keep forgetting how short Lil Pump songs are. It was literally just a little bit over two minutes. It was enjoyable enough. The verse was pretty good. I like the verse. He had nice flows on the verse. The the delivery switched up a little bit towards the end. That last that last little flow in the verse was kind of memorable. Bit where he did the the high pitched voice at the end of each line, and then when he dragged the the words out at the end of each line. There's there's a little bit of a catchy sound to that, so that's something that's definitely gonna stick in my mind. He also said, "Told the bitch, let me sniff coke off her asshole." That just sounds very not clean, Lil Pump. Not clean at all. But whatever you want to do, Lil Pump, I'd never doubt someone that went to Harvard. But yeah, nothing more than standard Lil Pump. It's a fun song. I I'm just hoping that there's a bigger variety of sounds on Harvard Dropout than it sounds like there's gonna be. Because whilst this song was enjoyable, I don't know if I could deal with like 12 to 15 tracks of this, which is how long I'm assuming it's gonna be. I'm hoping that within those 12 to 15 tracks, there's a lot of different sounds because there's nothing that really differentiates this from recent Lil Pump singles. Also, something else I noticed in the lyrics here, Lil Pump mentioned flashing titties twice on this song instead of once. Is it possible that Lil Pump is running out of lyrics and lyrical content? Who knows? Because we all know Lyrics is what he's known for. But anyway, that's pretty much what I have to say for Rex on Rex. There's not too much of a super in-depth discussion to be had here. If you liked what Lil Pump had to offer on his last few songs, you'll probably enjoy this as well. Thank you so much for watching. I would appreciate you guys 
lightly tapping that subscribe button because you know it barely functions already we don't want to hurt it anymore because we are very close to 50,000 subscribers and you can follow me on social media that's twitter and instagram under the names cdtv productions let me know down in the comments below what you think of rex on rex by lil pump thank you so much for watching guys i will hopefully see you all in the next one and this is cdtv the g signing out